Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the official trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I am so excited for this movie, but more importantly, I am nervous. I got a feeling not all of our beloved characters are going to make it out of this movie, so I'm really nervous, but I'm really excited to just watch this trailer and see what it shows us. So let's not waste any more time and let's watch it. I'm Star-Lord. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait. Good music as always. <laughs> Came back a total dick. Oh. Oh, please. He left out some important information, but that is the gist of it. <laughs> Gonna have to cut a lot of music out. Hi, evolutionary. My sacred mission is to create the perfect society. He didn't want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. This looks great so far. <laughs> I want you all to know that I'm grateful to fight beside my friends. Oh. Incinerate Adam Warlock. Wow. Man, this is so emotional. We're always searching for a family. Cosmo! Oh man. Of course. We'll all fly away together into the forever and beautiful sky. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait. Man, this is going to be an emotional, but still action-packed, funny, and lighthearted all at the same time. And I just have complete faith in James Gunn in this movie. He's doing so much right now, and he wants this to kind of be his swan song for the MCU and the Guardians of the Galaxy as a whole. There were some great action moments in that trailer. We got some really high-quality CGI and really cool sets and a lot of characters that we haven't seen before. Adam Warlock's going to be super cool. It looks like he might be an enemy towards the beginning of the movie and hopefully become an ally as the movie goes on. I'm nervous for Rocket, and I'm nervous for Drax. Dave Batista, the actor who plays Drax, has said this is his final movie, so I don't know if he's going to die or if he's going to leave the group afterwards, but we just know that this is his last time performing as this character. We're going to get a lot of backstory for Rocket, and I feel like he's going to be the driving force as far as themes and emotion go in this entire movie. That being said, I hope he makes it out of this. I don't think he's going to, though. I thought we were done with all the trauma stuff in Phase 4, but it looks like this is going to be just as emotionally damaging as some of those projects. That last little bit there where Nebula is talking to Star-Lord, that's the humor that I miss in the MCU. It's so genuine and it's so in character and I feel like it just fits. We've known these characters for so long now and it's going to be so difficult to say goodbye to this specific group of Guardians. I'm sure they're going to rebrand them and have new members later on in the MCU, but I feel like this is kind of the ending for these ones. I've got no doubt that this movie is going to be an absolute banger, and I can't wait for it to come out. It actually comes out near my birthday in May, so it'll be a nice uh, birthday present. Let me know what you guys thought about this trailer. What are you hoping to see in this movie? Are you hoping that certain characters live like I am? I really don't want... Drax to die, but you know, I'm kind of thinking that might happen. I'm really curious to what you guys think, so let me know down below in the comments. For a movie that seems like it's going to be very emotional, this trailer was very lighthearted and more, you know, hopeful. The music was upbeat, we saw a lot of action, we got a lot of cool character moments, but they're also hiding a ton of things. This trailer didn't give much away at all. And I like that, I feel like trailers should do that. They should hype you up and not reveal too much. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it, and I will see you guys very soon.